Alright, hi guys, it's me again. I'm Dato Jimmy Wong and I'm glad to be here today with these two super heavyweight individuals. Alright, uh, I don't think I need any introduction, but still, I'm going to introduce them. Alright, of course on my left, I have Mr. Colin Xiao down here. Alright, this is the man that the, some of you who may have already known him for many, many years. And of course on my right, I have Mr. Fabian Lim, alright, the captain, alright. And of course, this, this heavyweight down here has been around for some time as well. Listen, these are the two heavyweight individuals that is my greatest privilege and honor to have them in my office today to do this recording all right and of course right now i will invite mr lim to spearhead this first dialogue to let you know why are we firming up this consortium that we have planned last, since last year but we're going to materialize it this year 2019 and why is it so important for this consortium to be formed so that we will take a step-by-step -step explanation so that the viewers will have a better understanding of why is this whole program so essential to the public. So, Mr. Lim, please. Sure, thank you. So, just some perspective and, and background, in case you're wondering why are these three grown-up men coming together. <laughs> uh, so, there's some perspective itself. Most of us, in fact, all of us have been in this wealth education industry for a good decade at least. And we obviously have a common agenda, which we will elaborate later. But essentially, what we are seeing right now are challenges that are plaguing this entire industry. I'm going to just name two. Number one, I think that with the proliferation of social media, literally anyone can make claims to be a top forex trader, stock guru, or even an internet marketing guru. Not that it's not possible to become an expert in a fairly short period of time, but uh, certainly, I think most of us will agree, consumers will agree that this whole marketplace is totally confused. And the problem, of course, is not about making claims. The problem is about being able to verify and providing accountability to the people that you are marketing to. Number two, and this is really something that brought us together, is that not only are there new gurus out there that is confusing people Mm. providing bad advice, yep, yep. this new group of so-called experts is now causing confusion in the marketplace because now the market themselves don't seem to be able to distinguish between good and evil, right or wrong, right or wrong, proficient and non-proficient and now all of us are being labelled in one generalisation which does not do any good in the industry itself because again it's one of those where the one who shouts the loudest necessarily becomes more righteous which is not true of course mm. and the fact that people are making claims without providing backup of proof and to me you know i think first and foremost being a wealth education industry in this industry itself being able to substantiate proof is first and foremost the most important aspect you could be a nice guy but without being able to provide consistent proof, then you know how does the how does the consumer read you? Are you a nice guy? Are you a nice guy scammer, <laughs> or are you just a nice guy nice guy who couldn't help someone create wealth, for example? Mm -hmm. And obviously, the reason why we're coming together is because we all have the same or very similar pain points. I'm going to get Colin to elaborate on his side. I don't think his side is much different from me, but I can speak for myself for sure that in the you know in the digital marketing. Um, arena, the whole market is confused, right? And of course, we have initiatives like Skills Future, good intention, but when you have a common denominator, for example, which is price, then you go from cheap, cheapest, cheaper, cheapest, cheapest, <laughs> cheapest, <laughs> cheapest, <laughs> cheapest, cheapest <laughs> rather than effectiveness <laughs> as a as a as a benchmark. Then where does it yeah. all end? Worst thing now, you take this cheap, cheapest, cheapest concept, which is wrong right because you're not treating wealth education like a shopping good and you apply it on uh, forex you apply it on stock trading where does it end because we're not just talking about bad advice we're talking about your investment going down the drain because of bad advice i would say i would say that's that's like like what you what you said earlier on known as uh, unqualified advisory Exactly, you know. Yeah. Maybe Colin can elaborate whether you're in a yeah. similar position yeah, as well. Yeah, I think nowadays a lot of people are very transactional. 
mm. they are approaching. What, what do you mean by transactional? So somehow means to say they will conduct a two day calls and then buy. I don't see you ever. Before you carry on, uh, guys, look here. This is totally uncut, not rehearsed. <laughs> all right, not rehearsed. All right, this is no doubt. I mean, the movie production, but this is not rehearsed <laughs> at all. So you're gonna see a lot of raw footages at times. You may find it very, very hilarious. All right, so very well, comment as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you're <laughs> So Colin, yeah, yeah. you're there. So I was sharing with you, uh, I think the, the challenges right now is a lot of people are talking about, uh, number one, they are, it's very transactional. Mm. You know, it's just about doing a course, you know, after a preview, they do a course two days, and then there's no follow-up, there's no interest to see the students succeed. You know, that's why I also, about 10 years ago, more, more than 10 that, I've been building a community over the last 10 years yes. of this SMT community to, to help them to uh, bring them from a novice, I mean, someone who don't know how to trade, to somebody who know how to trade. And then, mm. I believe this is what it takes uh, for someone to become successful. You know, mm. But because right now, it's all about pricing, people cannot afford to build a community and things like that. So it becomes very transactional. It becomes no more longer a relationship, a uh, discipleship, but it's more like uh, just a one-time transaction and that's it. So, but then what you said, can I, can, I, can I just brand it this way? Now it's more like this open and close inverted. Mm. School fees, businesses versus reality commitment. Yeah. I think so the, let's talk about yeah. 10 years ago. So, okay, uh, maybe, maybe when we first started many, many years ago, right? Yeah. So, was it like this? Okay, maybe when we first started, uh, like we and Fabian will agree with you. Mm. So it's like when we first started, mm. maybe we also is like that. You know, we want to do just. I mean, no, no doubt, right? Yeah. So I mean, well, let's want to qualify. We're yeah. not saying we're holy than down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not saying that we have never made mistakes. Yes, yes. What we're saying is that the market has evolved. Correct. And yeah. and the truth is this: when you first started, like like for the rest of us, we yeah. do not know what we do not know. Correct. But I think that after ten years, ten years for any industry would have reached level of maturity. Correct. And what, why we're together, I believe, is because we all agree that there should be a higher duty of care. Correct. Right? Yeah. When it comes yeah. to not just raw education mm. and, you know, kind of train you for three days and say goodbye to you and kind of stuff. Responsibility, right? Yeah. Mm. It's Accountability. That we, we're, we're also here mm. to brainstorm, mm -hmm. to figure out mm. how can the three of us here and mm. probably more like-minded trainers yes. come together and impose a higher duty of care. Mm -hmm. And we ourselves become, you know, uh, accountable for that level of duty of care. And be responsible. Yeah. Right? So yes, we're yes. not here to say us versus them mm -hmm. or play a blame game or whatever. We're just saying that, you know, this industry is a need of improvement. Correct. You know, no, to be honest, uh, let me chuck in. They are all very, very nice people with nice features. For me, direct to the point. Very simply speaking, there are so many educators out there that's given irresponsible uh, a way of education whereby, you know, maybe they, can, they could speak on stage and then they call themselves a guru. Maybe they know a little of the knowledge of, for example, Forex trading. So they'll brand themselves as gurus. There's always gurus around. For instance, you know, people doing massive advertisement on Facebook, for example, some of whom who depends on all this for living known as school fees. But do they really have the quality? This is what I'm talking about. That's the reason why. You know, last year I formed Trap Champion and basically this trap is to bring down all these people. Yes, you heard me right, it's to bring down. Why? Because, you know, we, we, we have to make sure that this does not spoil the brand. For instance, I'm doing Forex, you're doing equities for him, he's doing the marketing. You know, all these people are spoiling, you know, you know this, 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 this whole arena. It's not fair. Alright, on top of which, you know, to be honest, um, do the students really get away with what they've learned? Yeah. Answer is a big no-no. Right? I'm not like, like what Fabian said, we're not perfect, right? We're definitely not perfect. But at least what we could do is to bring down the 90% of those people who are not doing things right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we are doing right now. Okay? So back to Colin. So so basically, so may, may, may I ask you right now, in a few lines, so maybe in short, mm -hmm. explain to the viewers mm -hmm. how do you feel about the market condition right now in education, pertaining education, before I jump over to the Yeah, right. I think the challenge right now is really like whoever shot the loudest, you know, the mm -hmm. people claims are. I always say cheap, cheap, cheaper. Lah. Yeah, not only cheap and cheaper, but also the claims. It means how many percent can you make? Uh, 10%, 20%, 50%, you know? Oh, just now you know. 15% <laughs> one day, you know? Guys, sorry, the guy, you're just, just now earlier, I just received something very interesting, right? A hot from the oven, you know, a message from the public that says, show me this picture. I'm not going to mention his name, right? That says he claims he could make 15% a, a day. day. <laughs> 15% with two witnesses that saw the advertisement. 15%, not really an advertisement, but what he posted. 15% a day, my goodness, that you could have the public make. In the first place, if he could make 15% a day, why is he seeking audience from the public and not being sought after? I think it's a challenge because people are claiming more and more. And then Look at these two individuals, they are being sought after. 
Even me myself or JFN, we've been sought after, right? If you're good, you'll be sought after. You don't need to do massive. I'm not saying advertisement is wrong, don't get me wrong, but you need to have the right quality of claims out there. So, Mr. Lin, back mm -hmm. to you. In short, how do you feel about the current sentiment about even it don't 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 only talk about wealth creation, but even in your own trade, in your in in, in, in you know, you know perspective. Well, I see I see no difference between my trade and your trade as what you're saying who puts most Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. Who um, who chooses to tell a story, a, a sob story, you know, include your baby, you know, as a nice prop as well because you get more uh, empathy, you know what I'm saying, right? But I think we're all missing the point, and the point is basically we're talking about sustenance here. I mean, fifteen percent a day is nice, but how how long consistent, time frame? Consistent, consistent, right? consistent are you? Right? <laughs> you end up the year, you know, ten thousand to million percent. Or do you make 15% profit a day and you're losing Losing's the rest the of the business itself, yeah. isn't it? Especially for trading itself. Correct, correct. So, from my perspective, claims can always be made, but I think what we really need to do, and I think this is the reason why we're coming together to create more market awareness. Community right? program. Yeah, because again, it's a, it's a buyer be it's always been buyer beware. Mm. And again, do we want to blame the people who are making such claims? No, I mean, they are basically trying to add in creativity to try to fill up the classes. Mm. And so we can't really we can't really slime them for wanting to do that. But the question of course is again, how authentic are you? Mm. Are you able to back up your claims? That's probably the most fundamental of it all. Correct. But Correct. Because again, wealth education is designed to be a performance based industry. Correct. How much performance are you claiming versus how much empathy or how much acting are you? Now how about due diligence the from the public? For instance, this guy will say that he's a guru. He claim he will claim that oh, he's from this hedge funds company. For somebody you've seen a lot, right? Yeah. People who claim that they're from here, they're from there. They they were from this establishment. They're from this company. They're from here and there. You know, beside heaven. But the thing is, look here. I mean, I don't look at. Well, that's the nature yeah. of the industry, right? We all understand the shortcoming of the industry simply because it is an unregulated industry. Yes. So it's a buyer beware thing. Yes. There's case for you. Yes. There is a MES blacklist, for example. Yes. Those are mechanisms. Correct. Mm. But there's a still a very large portion which is grey area. Correct. Right? That allows creative marketing. Again, as I said, you cannot blame someone for for showing Rex to riches or showing their baby or showing their mom or happy family or from Kampong to whatever, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It's part of the whole script. Yeah. But at the end of the day I think that what we want to do here is to provide some community aspect. Correct. To we're coming together because we recognize it's a problem. Mm. And at the end of the day, if consumers are losing hard-earned money to unscrupulous marketers, traders, whatever, we're going to do our part, right, to prevent that type of of um, repercussion repercussions in the in the marketplace itself. Correct. I think we can do something there. Correct. Our mission would have been fulfilled. We want to set standards, right? We want to set yeah. standards. We want to set standards. Mm -hmm. All right. Basically, this consortium is going to be very historical because hey, look, here, guys, it's not easy for me to convince. All right, two um, heavyweights down here to be involved in this whole movement. I call it a movement. Why? Because it's in conjunction with a CSR program known as Corporate Social Responsibility. And basically, we want to promote community program. We want to have like you know set standards out there. You know, we 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 are we're talking about you know forming a consortium to help to 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 set certain standards or benchmark that people could use. Right, so that that could be like in the form of comparison. I don't know, you know, it's, it's I mean, essential. If I may just interrupt you for a short while because, sure, well, yeah. uh, you know, I, I think we want to address, right, the, the fact that we are probably so different in our uh, approach, in our uh, our personalities, <laughs> yes. you know. Yeah, uh, I, I think the, the audience needs to, <laughs> needs to face off, we need to face off the audience. Right? <laughs> you know, what are three <laughs> totally different uh, and human beings <laughs> coming together for a common cause. Maybe, maybe uh, Colin can share some insight. Why would you bother to want to work with a uh, self-proclaimed Paikia? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's I right? I thought it's raw, right, guys? Yeah. I thought it's raw. Right? Uh, no, okay. no, <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't Relative don't worry about it. to three of us, this is Paikia. This, right? un this, this uncut, this uncut, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. Even in fact, I, I actually I know him for quite a while, but don't really have time to interact. I, I think we should share with the audience. Uh, yeah. What 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 was it that you told me when I asked you how 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 you know how do you really feel about me back in the past when we didn't really talk yet? You know what was the uh, the kind of uh, I think the general kind of feel feel fearful lah. Fearful, <laughs> fearful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this guy, you know. Very, very, very. Because he works out more than you, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. 
<laughs> no, guys, I, I heard about Colin. Okay, I mean, of course, I, I, I got to know uh, this uh, Captain Lim here for, for a long period of time, mm. you know, um, but of course, I, I got to get, uh, in fact, I got acquainted with Colin uh, many years ago, just yeah. that we didn't really yes. talk, right? Didn't really communicate as you heard from him. Yeah. You know, I'm not very approachable in a way, but of course, <laughs> You know, of course, the first the first worry that came to my mind was this. You know, earlier on in my office, I was telling Colin, no. so you know, guys, look here, it's two one nine, even even Captain Lin, we're gonna launch this consortium, we're gonna launch this program. You know, to 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 do the very best out of it, but be prepared for 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 a lot of calls because a lot of people be calling them and say, hey, what's going on? You know, what I'm saying, you know, look here, guys. I mean, for me, it's very simple, right? Uh, I mean, uh, you have to have the quality to shut it out loud, right? I'm not here to make enemies, alright? I'm only sane enough to say that I also love friends, alright? I need love as well. Um, but the thing is that, you know, for 2019, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. A little bit differently, right? I'm gonna, you know, as, as time evolves, i got to evolve with fashion. i got to strike a balance. And that's the reason why with these two gentlemen in the consortium, I could balance things. Right? So, that's it. So, it's, it's, it's sweet, short and simple. Correct, correct. I think maybe if you can just share, share with the audience, you know, what are the pluses? I mean, it's mm. easy to mm. find fault to someone yeah, because yeah. all of us have faults. Correct. Mm. What's the positive side that you see as a benefit? Why Why is it that you're willing to, you know, Look join forces to us and, yeah. and basically focus on more of the good than the bad? Correct, correct. I mean, a lot of people are asking, I think when this video is out, a lot of people are asking, hey, why I'm working with him? <laughs> like. so but I want to share with you all why it's not just about... Uh, so after I got to know him, I find that he's very... Uh, to the point person, there is no uh, yeah. ulterior motive, you know, whatever it is, it is, you know, whatever. He speaks his mind. He speaks his mind, correct. <laughs> and then that's what I like about him, you know, Yi you know, really like, like talk about uh, doing the right thing, you know, like he ever uh, yeah. going to the market and then queue off all the bad guys, you know, and then help the good guys, you know, that's, that's his vision, you know. So from there, I actually see his heart also. Besides just the exterior, yeah. which is a very, yeah, you know, hard body. Yeah, you got a hard body exterior, exterior is very, is very uh, you know, uh, <laughs> going, going after people, but in th the reason why is because, number one, he feel the pain, right, when people lose money through through the wrong kind of, yeah. unscru um, unscrupulous way, people lose 50,000, 100,000, just by believing things that are wrong, you know, he, he feel that it's his job, you know, to actually make things strike. That's why he come out like a hero, you know, to help to change this marketplace. But hero and always dies first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, really, you know, what are you actually doing? And he later he shows his results of what he have done so far. You know, all these are, are notarized results, okay? And from there, I also get to know him as a person. Uh, you know, it's not just about money and things like that, but nice. Fabian, I get to know him as a person and understand uh, where he's coming from, you know? Uh, of course, a lot of people warn me, uh, frankly. Uh, but I say, of course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. So so be, be candid about it, be yeah, candid yeah, about but it. But at the end of the day, I, I, I made a decision, I feel that it, what, what is the truth? The truth here is uh, him, you know, maybe his approach, total approach will be wrong, but his heart is definitely... You know, like what I was telling yeah, you, sorry, yeah. cut you off. Like what, yeah. was, uh, like what I was telling Colin yeah. in my yeah. office, you know, yeah. a couple of weeks back before we went for yeah. our broad lift. Yeah. It's, it, I'm, I'm very extreme, yeah, yeah. right? It's either you like me, yes. or you hate me. Yes. Nothing in between. Yes. For, for these two gentlemen or me, for anyone else out there, for the viewers, you always strike a balance like, okay, I'm neutral with this guy. No one will be neutral with me because end of the day, it's very simple, right? It's like... Um, phew, okay, I'm gonna speak my mind right now, okay? I, I, I'm not defending, but I'm just speaking my mind right now. Mm -hmm. No, I take no shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, to, to be honest, you know, like the, a lot of um, times why I'm doing this, a lot of people say, hey, you're using CSR as an excuse. I beg your pardon, I don't need to. Sometimes, do you know this CSR, I'm coming out money from my own pocket to do it, you know? It's because the avalanche of grievances uh, that I have gotten from emails and from text messages Example, note for note, huh? mm. the earlier one that I've shown you guys, the 80,000 loss from this unscrupulous uh, female forex instructor. These are the victims that I feel for them. Why are you even donating money, you know, when you see someone so pitiful, just put the money in the boat and put on the floor, rather than helping. Prevention is always the best cure, rather than you cure them, right? So this is where I'm coming from. So this is why the group is formed, right guys? Yes, yes. Mm. If, I, if I can add as well, because I've known Dr. Jimmy Wong for quite a while. <laughs> now, I would say that he has a what we call a polarizing personality, right? So polarizing means that you either really like him. Am amazingly love Yourself. him, or maybe you just dislike him. And I have my reasons too, you know. And you know, I I've learned over time that number one, right, that at the end of the day, you have to 
accept everybody from a whole package. Yes. You know, so Colin has a package, mm. I have a package, mm. Jimmy Wong has a package. It's yes. just that Jimmy Wong has a more polarizing package. But the other, the other aspect as well is that we have to look at their profession mm. and what what is required of them. You know, for, for marketing, I can be a nice guy all day long and I can just be smiley and that should do the work. Mm. From from Colin's perspective, you know, his targeting 25%, 30% from the stock market and, and you don't need a lot of temperament to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody knows and agrees that Forex is a totally different cup of tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, and the fact that I look at Jimmy Wong from a whole package perspective, look here, I mean, he is an incredibly talented person. Mm -hmm. But it's also his, I believe, his, his polarizing personality that is necessary to become a champion trader. You know, um, I've never seen, I do not know of any nice guy forex trader who makes <laughs> shit lot of results or produce the kind of results that you are about to witness even. So to me, it's a whole package. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as, as what Jimmy has already stated, right, that he, he's recognized that, you know, he has some shortcomings, he's a bit mm -hmm. uh, temperamental, whatever the case is, but I think I like the fact that he has a heart and he does recognize as well that, you know, look here with both of us, you know, there's a need to evolve and all of yes. us are willing to evolve and that's why mm -hmm. I believe so strongly because at the end of the day, remember folks, it's not about how nice that guy is. Mm -hmm. That guy could be nice to you, could be really, really nice to you and rip you off of $100,000. Is that what you really, really want? Or do you really want someone who can deliver the goods, provide, produce the results, who's willing to also guide you? And this is where our consultant comes in, right? Because yeah. Yeah. what we're doing yeah. here is that we all recognize that none of us are perfect. Come on, we're not talking about perfection over here. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about perfecting. And I think in this regard, Colin has decided, Jimmy has decided, I've decided that, look here, you know, we have enough strengths. When we come together as a consortium, right. we can bring greater good to community or people who want to be associated with us. Mm. And as I said, first and foremost, nice guys aside as a topic, question is, can we even deliver results, positive results? Can we even mm. help, right, people who are who decide to follow us, lead a better lifestyle from a wealth perspective? Because it's wealth education. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. not moral education, by the way, <laughs> right? This is not teamwork education. Mm -hmm. Can we deliver, right, the financial success mm. for each and every of our community member? And of course, with that, I would say that Jimmy Wong does this, you know, 100 to 1 in terms of the way he's able to overcome the, the you know, the risk associated with the forex market and still end up on top of it. He's mm -hmm. arguably, friends, he's arguably the, the number one forex trader in the entire world. Talk is cheap and that's, again, this is why we want to, hold, we will not want to create high standards, we want to hold ourselves accountable to those high standards as well, right? So not saying like us or trust us because we're nice no. guys mm -hmm. or because we're creating this video. Mm -hmm. We're going to create higher standards and we want to hold all ourselves to higher standards. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we mean by standards? Well, we have a different level of outcome, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Forex because of the risk. Mm -hmm. We know it's high risk. We expect far higher standards, of course, than equities mm -hmm. or than digital marketing, for example, mm -hmm. right? But we will lead the way and I think down the line, we will, we will make good with what we are claiming in terms of standards itself. Right. I think standards are very important. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, sorry, I need to be honest. When I first shown uh, Fabian Lim, mm -hmm. right, my results, he went like, uh, okay, <laughs> he, right, speechless. And I show Colin, he was like, okay, uh, he's pretty shocked about it. Um, I need to say this: there are there are a lot of good forex traders out there. Many good forex traders I've personally seen. Mm -hmm. Right. For example, when I go to Japan or other countries, I've seen personally seen very good forex traders. Just that they. They're not like me, they don't like to teach to begin with, they don't know how to start an organization to teach, they just want to trade for a living, mm -hmm. you know, they, they want to trade for, for themselves, full stop, period, nothing wrong with that, all right? Mm -hmm. So, there, yes, there are good forex traders, but I think the only way to define a person or to prove the person's claim that he's good or bad is basically open and close inverted results, agree? Yeah, agree. Results, right? Agree, right? Yes. And because of the whole education industry is so messed up, so meshed up and mashed potato, <laughs> But until I have to go the extra mile of getting my results, you know, to a law firm to get it notary public. So to speak, this is a result that has um, basically got an endorsement from the law firm. I'm doing this extra step, all right, um, is because, look here, I need to prove, or I need to set a benchmark to the public to say, hey, look here, this is a new standard that you should use this as a reference 
reference and say that look here any self poken gurus out there will say this could they put this on the table and show it to you rather than give you tons of excuses like i forgot to bring my results i'm sorry you know results is private and confidential or maybe some result type over spreadsheet or excel or Word document whereby you don't need that because my grandmother or anybody's grandmother could do that right right so right now drums roll this is where i'm come going to show you guys the new benchmark all right and this consultant is going to be so powerful because we have what it takes to show that includes everyone down here just that this is the very first all right benchmark we're going to make you know make good for our consortium and then many more to come so first and foremost these results are made known or made notary public not only one law firm but two top law firms all right and i have two witnesses down here to make good of course after a good conversation yes, now you guys gotta play the role as witnesses all right so first and foremost just look at the the preface mm. all right this is a notary public agree totally agree this is mm. the original seal all right. right this is notary public mm. all right agree yeah. all right so again first and foremost this can't be duplicated any any duplication of this all right will be illegal and uh, it has to be the original copy when shown all right as agreed first and foremost we have to look at you see when you look at results results they are real and fake mm. all right so very importantly we need to understand that uh, a lot of con artists out there they will hide the amount deposited because when you hide the amount deposited you could actually camouflage the bad results and only amplify the good results the only way to make it 100 percent transparent this uh, lesson number one to all the viewers make sure you witness and you see the time date of the deposited amount so with this since you're nearest to me mr colin mm -hmm. all right could you tell everybody down here all right wait hang on do we want the camera to yeah. come oh in yeah, yeah, yeah. cameraman cameraman come over here come over here. all right I'll, I'll not move this yeah, all right yes. mm. would you like to tell everyone down here the year month and the date okay this is on the 27 of november one two zero one seven two zero one seven so i basically deposited 499 $1,125. Okay, okay. So, so this is a deposited amount. Deposited amount, huh? Okay. Yeah. Right. As you know, guys, uh, Colin is the expert as well in, in finance. If this is the fixed stuff, he can't skip his eyes. He will know, right? So, last traded. Hmm. Could you tell everybody last traded? What's the date? Uh, 2018, uh, 27 of November. 2018, yeah. November 27. That means it's last year's couple of months back. Yeah. All right. So, November to November, all right, both 27. That means it's exactly a year, right? Right. Okay. Mm. Can you tell everybody how much have I garnered for close my, trade. yeah, close trade, my, my, my profit down here? Okay, so the deposit is this amount, okay, mm. and then the close trade profit and loss is 4 million, almost close to 5 million. 4.9 million. So it's 4.9 million, like, it's, it's actually 4 4.9 million. 4, 4. 9 million nine hundred and forty nine thousand no, no 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 sorry it's four point nine million all right ninety four thousand nine hundred and eighty three dollars and forty six cents yes so this is my results but again mm. colin mm. let me ask you one thing mm. all right these results cameraman stay put mm. this result is only until november 2018 right? Right. right so basically as you know because forex is one of the largest financial tool on earth god ever created right mm. So one day we could we could have maybe even margin call mm -hmm. the full amount right? Right, right so allow me to show you next all right i want you to basically want to this okay now mr lim and i had a conversation earlier on i was telling him mm -hmm. all right uh basically we have to do withdrawal so that that is the next benchmark only withdrawal done that is known as profit you agree with me? It's not, it becomes a paper profit, right? Or else it's paper profit. We don't want that, right? Okay, so good. So right now, I'm going to get the, the same account. All right, hang on. So first and foremost, we need to tally the account number. Could you tally the account number? Uh, 162115. 16215. Mm. GM Lennon Group Holdings. Mm. All right, the same, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So this is the account. All right, again... This is the date that you could, if memory serves you well, it's on the 27th November at the back over here. All right, 27th November, 2017. Mm -hmm. I've deposited basically 499125, yeah. 499,000. Agree? Yeah. 
All right, same account. So is this the same account? Yeah. Same account, right? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. All right, this last traded was basically 27 November 2018. But for here, the last traded was 21st December. Mm. All right, 2018. Right. All right, mm. and I did a withdrawal right here when I was in Korea. Mm. Can you read out the, the withdrawal date, please, over here? Uh, the withdrawal date. 27 December 2018. So how much have I withdrawn? Withdrawn 5 million. Two hundred ninety-three thousand eight hundred eighty-three dollars and, and thirty-three cents. So I've withdrawn this amount, as you can see up here. Mm. Very simple. This is the same account number one six two one five one six two one five Jeff Lennon Group Holdings. Mm. All right. Basically, pro deposited four nine nine one two five. I've profited five point two million mm. on average. Mm. I've withdrawn five point two million as well for my profit, mm. and then after which I balance off right now four nine 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 point nine nine. So can you say that this is a true copy? Correct, correct. All right. This copy is, but just to clarify, this copy is until twenty seventh of November. Correct. correct. But this this yeah, last traded, yes. Last this last traded was yes. till twenty first December two zero one eight. So after that, you continue to trade and then you withdraw all this profit. Yes, right. Yes. Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So from a layman perspective, a coin. <laughs> How many percent are we looking at? Okay, let's add a point. It's unrehearsed. Uh. I think beside the point, maybe the video can also come to this part, right? It's also you can look at the equity curve. Uh. You can look at the equity curve. You know, some people, they, when they trade, uh, they do uh, negative uh, loss risk reward ratio. Correct, the roll off. Yeah. Roll off. Like, yeah. You know, some, 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 you know yeah. suddenly you have a big drawdown. Yeah. Like but look at this equity curve. This equity curve is very, very, very small. Yeah, I would say that over a period of how many trades you have done, you have done. I don't maybe over here trades, yeah. about trades. Over trades over here. Uh, 161 trades. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you do 161 trades with this kind of equity curve, right? Mm. I think it's very, very good. That also the other thing, I think you're the witness yeah, for these yeah. results. Right? Yeah. There are rumors out there saying that Jimmy Wong is God, he never lost a trade before. That's total bullshit, alright? <laughs> As you can see down here, there are some negative around right? negative 15,000 camera, please. Negative 5,000, negative 7,000, negative 16,000, negative 5,000. Yeah. Hey guys, look here, mm -hmm. alright? They're bound to have losses in all investments, but <coughs> if for that particular calendar year, your profit is here and your losses here, mm -hmm. in between will be your profit. Mm -hmm. You understand where I'm coming from? I repeat again, if your profit is here, the number of winning trades, the number of losing trades, mm -hmm. in between will be known as your profit. Mm -hmm. So, what, whichever rumor out there is saying that I declare that I've not lost a single trade before this bullshit, mm -hmm. because I do lose, but on average, out in the year, or maybe a couple of years, I'm always on the positive side. Alright? Because they didn't have seen this, mm -hmm. so now Colin witness. So, can you declare to the public that this is the real copy? Yeah, yeah. And even your hit ratio is all here, no? it's 74%. It's it's all here. Uh. Alright, thank you. I think the thing that's important is uh. the number of trades divided by the number of months that we have, right? Correct. 164 divided by 12. 161. Okay, so uh, how many trades and on average a month? Uh, about maybe 10, 15. 10, 10 15, about yeah. I mean, you're not talking about 50, 100 trades, is it? No, 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 I want no, to no. also highlight the point. Right, right, right. No, normally, yeah. if 50, 100 trades or even two or 200 trades a month, normally they are all IB makers. In short, I'll explain more, not in this recording, I don't want to waste time. IB makers, they depends basically on the frequency of trades to make money. Yeah. That's what we are, we are, we are discussing. Right. So it's about one. 10 to 15 trades a month, so mm. it's not really very high frequency. Correct, right? yes. correct. I think that's the first part. The second point, what kind of ROI are you looking at? Simple ROI? Yeah, okay. Take a look. Based uh, on uh, 500,000 to 5 million, no. so it's about 1,000. Uh, 1,000 percent, 10 folds. I, I mean, our terms 10 folds, 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> 10 times in one year. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I mean this kind of equity curve and this kind of hit ratio. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 this is this is why, guys, I speak the loudest. But again, you know, as uh, I always advocate, uh, for for me, I don't know. So let, let me ask you this question: Have mm. you seen anyone with this one year's result before? Nothing come close. I'm a Colin. I mean, probably I'm more exposed. <laughs> He's uh, more exposed than me, yeah, definitely, this, right? This, this yeah. kind of no, no, okay, I, I think things that are very very impressive when I look at this. Number one is that. Well, why don't you just take a step yeah. back and tell people how long have you been in this industry from a reminder, you know? I'm a reminder for 12 years, you know, I've been trading 20 over years. Uh. 20 over years yeah, in trading. Yeah, yeah. So among Damn. the 20 years of trading, yeah. that's before he was born. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about, you know. Before I was born? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> No, but, but guys, no, 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 but this, this guy down here, he really has more years of experience than I do. This, I will give it to him, right? That's yeah. why I, I, I'm so happy that I got him here to, to witness this whole grandstand is because he's the right person. He has all the experience and he has a very good character reference in the market as good as uh, as well as uh, Captain Lim down here. So, 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 so yeah. for the last 20 years, I mean, you have seen all sorts of results, right? From all 
asset and instruments. Tell us about this relative to everything else. I, I, I've never seen the result like that. Uh, you know, it's, it's high, the very nice equity curve, good risk reward ratio, mm. you know, high hit rate. You know, yeah, really need to be. So Maybe there's a book called uh, Market Visit, I think you know. Market Visit, right? yes. Maybe you should be interviewed by one of the. That's so wow, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a call. Yeah. You see, probably the only thing that can better this, if you ask me, yeah. is consistency over Long a longer period of time. No, no, no offense, no offense, uh, right? Yeah. I think one year one is already probably. significant. Yeah. I Ten mean, times. Really, compared to anybody else, right? Yeah, right. But if you have a longer period of time. <laughs> Three years, five years. Correct. It'll be much, much better. Yeah, yeah Colin, you know what? Uh, to be honest, uh, when I first shown uh, this Fabian this one year result, right? Then he, he he was very amicable. He was saying that, hey, one year result good, uh, not bad, not bad, you know. But hey, what if uh, you can have more than a year results? So, so I was asking him. So it's more like a teasing thing, you know, mutual mm -hmm. teasing. Then I say, so how many years will be deemed fit for you, like? I mean, will make it happy. So he was saying that, well, at least uh, what, three, four years, right? Sure. Three, four years, Why right? Not? But you know what? Right now, I'm going to show you guys, mm. all right, mm. a six years results, mm -hmm. endorsed, mm. notary public, make notary public, one of the top law firms in Singapore. Mm. Six years. Now, guys, six years plus one year equates to seven years, mm -hmm. all right, and I'm still trading. If that still does not contribute to any consistency, I really don't know what is called results. I give up. Totally agree. Totally yeah. agree. You agree with me, guys? Okay. So, again, you know, setting another historical moment, all right, this, I've got to go to Mr. Lim. All right, I will explain this first and foremost. Camera, come. Let me explain this curve to Colin. Yeah. Yeah. This is called withdrawal. Withdrawal, yes. withdrawal, withdrawal. So every year we do our withdrawal. This is six years result. We have first withdrawal, second withdrawal, third withdrawal, fourth withdrawal, five withdrawal, and the last over here, six withdrawals. Again, I always believe in profit should be withdrawn. If profit is not withdrawn, it's always paper profit. All right, we don't want that. So, Mr. Lim, now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, basically, right here. I need you to further amplify to everyone. Okay, thank you so much. Now, I want you to read out the year, month and date down here and the amount over here. Okay, sure. Oh, this is a 10-point font. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got, you got whole flower eyes and I'll buy it. No, I'm wearing contact lenses. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. No, maybe call colleagues a better person. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So this okay. is you did such a good uh, job earlier anyway. Okay, okay go on, This go. is uh, starting capital, right? It's starting capital, yeah. Starting capital is... Uh, which, which date is that? Okay. This is the year, year, month. 0 one, one, December. 21st. So 21st December 2011, I've deposited 500,000. After less wiring fee, how much it is? 498640. 498640. So we can put it as in 500,000, right? 5, 000, this on the, yes, on right. the, you remember? December 2011. Yeah. Okay, fast paced motion. When was the last traded before we actually, you know, did the last withdrawal? So this is uh, 172017 November the 10th. So 2017 November 10, I closed this account and I reopened again with this noted yeah. public results that you've seen, right? Yeah. With 500,000 over here. Yeah. So last traded 17. So six years. Six years, right? Six one years. one one two one three one four one five one six one seven. Okay. All right. I don't care. I want you to read out the results, baby. I don't care how <laughs> big the fonts are or whatsoever. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. Can you read out what is the profit camera, please? One. Can you read out the profits? Started with a capital size, right? 2011 of 500,000. How much have I made over here? So the profit is uh, 12 million. Nine. Nine. Six. Nine. Six. Okay, 12 million. Okay, go ahead. Change your lens. Get away. 12 million. Nine. Where's the video? Video coming? 12 million. Nine. Six. Eight. Four. Point. Uh, four. Two. two four. four point. Six, nine. Three. Nine. So can I say we run off is about 13 million? About 13 million. We've 13 drawn, million. Okay, yeah, we've drawn all this uh, profit. profit uh. Okay, and so we read out other stats here. All the statistics, okay. alright? I think he's a professional. Uh. That's, I, that's I think there. it's good that we talk about the stats. Uh. You know, like how much is it, how many times is it profitable? Yeah. So it's about 63% profitable, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which is very good actually. You know, Thank 63% you. 63% is very good. And uh, he's. Uh, and you can see from the rest, uh, what is his consecutive wins? Is every time they have ten consecutive wins, and uh, the profit I make, the average profit I make, 
is the average profit they made, every trade they made about Yes, it. on average, at the average out. Uh, correct. But very importantly, as I said, you know, for me, you see, coding is a very detailed man. For me, it's very simple. When I look at results, I own, I, for me, right? Any trader will show me results, I go for the finale. Mm -hmm. The finale is 13 million. Mm -hmm. 13 million. Right. So I beg pardon, it's 13 million out of 500,000, yes. all right, that with the, the, the duration of six years. Okay. So, one yeah. More, one, more point, one more point to, I just want to be more detailed, uh, is when he's profitable, he makes 96,000 on average. Mm -hmm. When his loss is about 34. So the one is the three. The, the, the ratio was the three. Ratio. Ratio. So when it's correct, he make about three times more than when he lose. So it makes sense, uh, you know, because of the higher uh, probability with 63% mm -hmm. probability, and on top of that, every time it's correct, 63% is correct, he make three times more than the 30% 30, 30 is not wrong, you only lose. So that means in short, that means in short, if I were to lose once, again, I'm talking about losses, uh, it's, it's not true that everyone says that, you know, I've never lost before. You can see here, there are negative trades. This is withdrawal, uh, yeah, yeah, 2.5 million is withdrawal. We yeah. talk about negative trade, like I've lost 49,000 before, yeah. I've lost 32, 2,000 before, you know, and, and it goes on. I've lost uh, 36,000 before, 7,000 before. Again, as I say, if my winning trades here, my, lose, my, my losing trades here, mm -hmm. in between be known as profit. Agree? Correct. So can I put it to you now, Mr. Colin? Mm -hmm. So can, you are witness of this result. Is this authentic? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you so much. There you go, <laughs> like, viewers. So su summarizing again, <laughs> for, this, for these six years, we are looking at $500,000 capital injection. Yeah. And then lifetime of six years earnings of how much? 13 million. 13 million. What profits. Kind of? 13. Prof not Profits, huh? Yeah, 30 million is profits. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, I, I, just to add, add on some of this unrehearsed again. Uh, I, I think things to... <laughs> Take notice, uh, is number one, his win loss ratio. ratio. His win loss ratio is very good. You know, it's uh it's six times correct. Uh three times three times wrong, four times wrong. Okay, that's number one. Number two is whenever it's correct, he make more. He made like three times more than whenever he lose. Then he lose. I think this is perfect. Like, this is very teaching <laughs> textbook. Well, thank like. you, man. This yeah. this, this is what we teach in textbook. You know, make your losses small. Okay, make your profit big. Every time I lost, it's 30,000. Every time I win, it make 90,000. So, so let me ask you a more factual question. Are you tempted to pick up Forex? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, guys, look here. Uh, I was saying, all right, this is unreasonable and uncut. Uh, the final bit of this before I end this recording, uh, right? Uh, really, it's my, it's my dream to actually, to be honest, right? Get these two gentlemen up on board in forex trading. I'm not. I'm not saying that his business is not profitable. I'm not saying that his whatever he's doing is not profitable. I'm not saying that whatever you are doing is profitable. Uh, is not profitable. But what I'm trying to say is that if I could share this 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 abundance with my buddies down here, mm -hmm. all right, I would I would be more than glad to do that, all right. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I think uh, in continual of what I want to say in this recording, it's very simple. If someone says that he's a guru, if someone says that he's good, if someone says that he's from any big time organization, he could be just a staff. All right, and, and say that he got lots and lots of experience, that does not tantamount to when you pick up his course or her course, you will make money. What you want to see, these are the proofs. All right? So I've set a benchmark that is so high up right now, all right, that it's either all the gurus, so to speak, all the so-called gurus, is either you're going to match me or at least you've got something to show. So I'll just put it, all right? Sure. Right now, the very first benchmark I'm going to set to the public, very simple. If you can show at least a one year notarized public results to the audience, you are the real deal. If not, stop pitching how good you are, all right? Start to be down to earth, all right? Listen, we are, we're not here, that's what we were speaking earlier on. I know this is taking a bit longer than usual. We're not, we're not here to make those so-called self-proclaimed gurus without grounds on, without proof on, as to make you jobless, no. We're here to tell you is that stop you know, collecting school fees from all the public and spoil the name of Forex perhaps or even the name of equity or even internet marketing. Mm -hmm. you no, know, but rather do good for the public or at least just be neutral. Don't, don't cause harm to people just because you want to make their school fees because you've got some expenses that you need to settle at home mm -hmm. or your home mortgage or maybe your car loan or whichever loan you have. This is not right because you are, you are, you are taking advantage of another person to make good your own. I, I don't think that's right. Yeah. So with this, gentlemen, I'm very glad that uh, we've come to this great conclusion that we've firmed up. Yeah. Listen, we have already firmed up this organization. Bad news for all the not so true blue gurus out there. We have firmed things up already. 2019 will be a brand new year for us, all right? And of course, we're going to make things that is so powerful out in the market, beyond words. And before I end this, Fabian, anything for the viewers out there? Well, I, I think uh, today is a watershed moment for all of us. Not the least because we've decided to come together. Three unlikely 
hillbilly boys. <laughs> I, I think from a common good perspective and you know, um, setting new standards, the, the clear winner here is going to be the community, right? Mm. Those people out there mm. who make an honest living, you could be, you know, doing driving grab, working mm. in a hospital, for example, or being a teacher. Mm. And we recognize that your earnings are hard earnings. We're not asking you to become a full-time trader, a full-time digital yeah, entrepreneur, yeah. whatever the case is. But what we're saying is that we want to be able to be held accountable. We ourselves be held accountable mm. and the rest of the community of trainers or so-called gurus also be held accountable as well. That's the only way mm. we can lift up the, the standards, right, in this whole industry, which has been honestly quite a circus or what we call the W, the Wild Wild West. Uh, yeah. last the roller coaster ride is yes. totally, totally painstaking. It, it's good to stop. We are taking the initiative right now, the three of us, mm. uh, to pause, I'm reflect I'm upon what we are doing ask ourselves how we can do better, how we can help our own students do better. Yep. And you know, probably my last message to those of you who are self-proclaimed gurus, look here, you know, you don't, you don't have to formulate your own little formula of success. You know, if you're humble enough and like us even to say, hey, look here, you know, it was Jimmy, I tell you what, I tell you, okay, you win, you know, what it's do you, pleasure, you teach pleasure. us anyway, right? I mean, if you have that, that humility mindset to understand that, you know, maybe you have a formula, but your formula is not good enough, not proven enough, you know, if you want to take up tutorship, join our consortium. We can always talk to you, whether you're a trainer, you're a guru. I think we're willing to collaborate yeah. with you. If you're right? afraid to come to me, I'm not approachable. I'm Approach, approach, uh, approach the, the nice guy here. The, 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 the nice guy, which is Colin. I'm not so bad, come on. Yeah. <laughs> right, approach Colin Sell in confidence. Go talk to him, go have <laughs> coffee with him. Um, but most importantly, we want to attract more like-minded people. If you're willing to put aside your ego, I think we can do a lot for the community out there. You heard, yeah, you heard it from from yeah. from okay. from Captain Lin down here, all right? And yeah. how about okay. you, Mr. So Colin? We're, Mr. Having, we're having a conversation downstairs. It's not like everyone must be a full time trader, no, like like yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not everyone no, no. can have no. to make up to become like that, you know. But what I'm sharing with you all here is uh, money management. You know, you have to have the correct money management mindset. Mindset. Yeah, yeah. You need to have the right mentor, system also, yeah. right system to actually guide you through this whole process and. Three of us, why we get together. For me, yeah, it really took a long time for me to decide. I think, you know, yeah, 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 of course, a long time. It's uncut, it's should, raw. Should I, should I do this and all? But at the end of the day, I feel that hey, am I doing the right, right thing? thing. Right. I feel that they yeah, are doing the right thing, you know, mm. uh, to partner with these this, uh, wonderful people here over here. And I think at the end of the day, who is going to benefit is going to be the people who, who come and, and, and see actually what Jimmy does, and, and I think he will benefit. And, and I think it's also all about the three of us mutually agreeing to hold ourselves to a higher standard of accountability. Right. Yep. Yeah. I think that's that's really what's important and right. I think it's probably your right. decision point as well, right? right. To, right. to join us right. in that yes. sense. Okay. Yeah. But I would say I would say the last bit, all right, gentlemen, really thank you so much. I think the last bit is more like that is more like a community program we're talking about. Of course we need to set benchmarks and uh, okay, I think it's time for us to Say goodbye to you guys and end this whole recording before you guys start to fall asleep. It's taking pretty long. But nonetheless, I would like to thank Mr. Lim, yes. Panchi Panchi. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Xiao, Panchi Panchi. All right, thank All right. you. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, we'll be back with more great recordings. Hopefully, we can uh, impart uh, more understanding and more advisory, you know, over um, um, good recordings of such. Right? Trust me, it's not going to be short, it's going to be lengthy, but of quality. So, if this once again signing off, I'm Dato Chimino together with um, Mr. Lim and Mr. Xiao. Thank you so much. See you guys again. You guys have a great new year. Happy 2019. Take care. Bye bye.